Well, hello, YouTube. Uh, in this episode of the Eureka Springs trip, I'm, tr I'm calling it uh, Sacred Spaces. And so there's something about riding that just invokes a sacredness for me. And uh, sometimes, not always, I almost can call it a religious experience. And there's something about traveling on a motorcycle and traveling to places that can evoke that spirit uh, within me and within many other bikers I know. A lot of people wouldn't think of us bikers that way, but uh, we are people who can be invoked either physically, psychologically, or spiritually, or all three of those, uh, to a sense of awe. And so the first one's gonna be Thorn Crown Chapel, then the other side of the downtown of Eureka Spree, St. Elizabeth Catholic Church, and then we'll be taking a ride up to the Kachika, I think is how it's pronounced, National Forest, northern part of Oklahoma, southern Arkansas and taking a look at that spot there. Plus, I hear the ride there and back down the mountain. It's just gorgeous. This morning, my first stop is to go to the Thorn Crown Chapel here in uh, Eureka Springs. And there's something about sacred space uh, that's just wonderful. And I think uh, many of us bikers, we get it, uh, sacred space. And uh, it's a beautiful place to have that. This chapel was built, it's built, as you'll see, uh, uh, glass and wood. And you feel like you're one with nature. It's a great place to meditate upon God if you want to. Uh, and, and just enjoy this peaceful uh, place. Uh, they're very quiet inside, so they really appreciate the sacred space uh, that they have in the facility. It's really neat. It's, it's, a, it's a nice uh, little chapel. And the grounds, walking up to it and leaving, are also uh, very nice and uh, peaceful, even though we're not too far off uh, the highway. So it's a neat little sacred space nestled in the mountains. Uh, Thorn Crown Chapel, Eureka Springs, and uh, it, it's nice. Uh, I recommend if you're in this area uh, coming here. Uh, while I am uh, a Christian, not of the Protestant variety, uh, and it is a Protestant chapel, I don't think one has to be a Christian to come here and appreciate it. If you're into art or architecture or nature, uh, you can come here and still get a, a connectedness uh, to something quite beautiful. Thank you very much, and I hope you uh, like Thorn Crown Chapel. Thank you. 